In this video, we'll balance the equation AgNO3 plus H2SO4, that's silver nitrate plus sulfuric acid. Let's count the atoms up. We have one silver, and then NO3, that's a nitrate, it's a polyatomic ion, and it's gonna stay together. We have an NO3 here, and then here it is again over here. So we're just gonna call that one item here. One NO3, two H's, and then SO4, that's the sulfate group. That is an ion, it's a polyatomic ion, and it stays together as well. So I'm just going to say I have one sulfate ion, one SO4 here. That's going to make it a lot easier as we balance this equation. Two silvers, NO3, we have our one nitrate group, we have our one hydrogen, and then we have one SO4, one sulfate group. Looks like the silvers and the hydrogens, they aren't balanced. Why don't we put a two, the coefficient of two in front of the AgNO3, that should balance the silvers one times two that gives us two silvers, those are balanced. And then NO3, the one times the two, that gives us two of those. We could just fix our NO3s here and that might fix the hydrogen as well. I have one here and then two here. So I could put a coefficient of two, the one nitrate times the coefficient of two, that'll give me two nitrates, those are balanced. And then the hydrogen, one times two, that gives me two hydrogens. And those are balanced. So we're done. This equation is balanced. When we have polyatomic ions that appear on both sides of the equations, like the nitrate or the sulfate appears on both sides, counting them as one item, it just simplifies the balancing and it reduces errors. This is Dr. B with the balanced equation for silver nitrate plus sulfuric acid. Thanks for watching.